All right, so here's a little introduction video and manual on this uh, new little product that I designed, which I call the Hoop Juice Transfer Station, which is a six up to 6S uh, series balanced charging board that allows you to effectively uh, recharge your 1S stick batteries just as if they were uh, your regular 6S LiPo using your regular 6S uh, charger and uh, yeah, benefit all the features of a fully featured charger including uh, charging to your desired voltage, uh, discharge and storage charge and uh, even checking your internal resistance of your cells and so yeah I'm just going to try to get over all the important points uh, with that comes with using this board so you can use it safely and uh, the most effectively uh, as possible and so yeah the first point uh, is that this is a balance board okay so this is not a pile charging board so that means that all the cells are wired in series and therefore you don't need to multiply the capacity of your cells uh, by how many you want to use. Uh, so you, if you're in, for instance, you are charging uh, here a 250 uh, milliamp uh, LiPo and you want to charge it at uh, 1C, you're going to ch set your charger uh, to well, 250 milliamp. So do not uh, multiply your, the capacity to find, uh, of all your LiPos to find the current you want to charge them at. Uh, yeah, just charge them exactly just like your regular uh, 4S, 6S uh, LiPo. Then uh, when it comes to uh, the jumper that is provided with all of them, uh, this guy here, you're going to use it uh, by. Let me find it. Let me see if I can find one here. Yeah. So you're going to want to use it by placing it on however many lipos you want to use. All right. So you have six uh, six columns of rows. And so if you want to use only one uh, lipo, then you put it on the, you place it on the first jumper. If you want to use two, three, six, if you want to use all six, you place it on the last row. So here, for instance, on this one, I'm charging only three lipos. So I'm placing it on the third uh, column. Um, yeah, so of course, don't uh, try to place uh, the jumper in uh, the horizontal uh, way, only pl place it vertically and uh, yeah, you will find in your package a second one uh, you should, if you uh, buy this, you will receive two of these jumpers and uh, yeah, the second one is a spare, so don't go and use uh, yeah, the, both jumpers at the same time, the second one is just a spare in case uh, you lose it or it gets just so worn out that uh, yeah, you start having issues with them. And uh, yeah, those are pretty nice and fancy little red and extended one. But if you ever lose your spare one as well, uh, you, you can find these in any uh, electronic shop. Right? This is just a regular um, 1.25 millimeter uh, jumper header a jumper so uh, yeah next point is yeah to only charge uh, together light bulb of the same capacity and this is really the only uh, thing you need to watch out for um, con con contrary to uh, a parallel charging board where you need to make sure that all your light bulbs are at the about the same voltage Otherwise, uh, you incur a, a rush of current between uh, two uh, cells at a different voltage. With this one, you absolutely don't have to. 
uh, since it doesn't matter how uh, w what's the tension of uh, what's the voltage of each of these uh, lipos, your charger should recognize it thanks to the uh, balance board and it should balance them all together before charging or discharging it uh, to the desired voltage. But the only thing that you need to make sure of is yeah, to have at least all of the cells of the same capacity. So only use 250, 300, 330 milliamps hour uh, batteries together. Uh, then another recommendation is to first plug your lipos, uh, then the jumper, or the jumper, then the lipos. And only lastly, the most important is to only lastly uh, connect the XT60 to your charger. The reason for that is that if you have uh, everything wired up, and when you plug the last uh, lipo or the jumper, when all six lipos are in there, yeah, you'll have a, a pretty hefty spark on the, these little pins. So yeah, just to make sure that uh, it lasts as long as possible, try to always uh, plug your LiPo first and then connect it to the charger. Uh, yeah, then of course, you never leave the board unattended while charging or discharging. Uh, yeah, that's pretty common sense, but uh, yeah. Uh, I think that uh, you've probably seen just like me how accidents happen and it uh, yeah it's uh, yeah just a little reminder of that and uh, yeah lastly don't charge it over 1.5 amps all right so the traces are rated for much more than that the header is rated for 2 amps but uh, yeah, that's for the case for a brand new header. So as you start using it, the resistance is gonna increase. Also, if you live in a humid climate, uh, oxidation might increase the contact resistance. So yeah, try not to get above uh, 1.5 amps, which should be enough for lipos up to 1500 uh, milliamp. I don't think many of, uh, of us fly 1S lipos of that size or you could charge uh yeah 750 ma uh, lipo at 2c which is still uh pretty uh, fat for the type of uh, uh quad that will fly on one s and uh yeah that's uh, that's about it so uh here let's uh, move on to make just a little demo so uh, here i'm using this uh little tool kit M6 and uh, yeah you, you will find that uh, well in this case if you remove the power and it doesn't matter whether you have the jumper or not uh, it will show always uh, show the, ba the balance because the the jumper is only here to wire up the mains lead so uh, if I unplug it, well, I'm gonna lose the, actually I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna lose the light for the softbox. But uh, yeah, this jumper here is only to connect the main charging leads to the LiPo. So uh, yeah, you, you don't actually need to have the jumper on any place if you just want to check uh, your, your LiPos. But if you're charging and he's going to use the main lead, then you're gonna uh, need it in place. And so, uh, yeah, uh, you, you'll find that if I go to charge, does I L lithium high voltage, I'm going to set it on, yeah, 0 0.3, because those are uh, 260 milliamps, all of them, and uh, yeah, just start the charge, and right there you can see that even though some of these, la uh, of these cells have uh, 0 0.2 volts difference, it doesn't quite uh, bother it at all. So right now it's just uh, balancing them 
before charging them all to a uh, desired voltage. So yeah, that's uh, a pretty good, uh, if you're using one of these uh, cheap uh, multi-chargers that tend to overshoot uh, the LiPos quite often, and this kills the LiPo, pretty sure you will have a better uh, luck with a proper uh, full features charger in that way. So uh, yeah, uh, if you already purchased your board and you're watching this for information, well, thank you again for your purchase. Uh, enter your board, I hope that uh, this, uh, this helps. You can also find the manual uh, on the product page. If you look, go to uh, store.flactalengineering.net, uh, you should have the link on your package. Anyway, you can find the written uh, text uh, manual just as a reminder. And if you haven't purchased it yet, uh, well, it's available uh, currently at uh, Newbie Drone. Um, we bleed FPV is distributing it in uh, US as well. Uh, Drone Junkie in the UK as well, should be receiving them soon. And otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll be putting them on sale too on uh, store.fractalengineering.net. So, um, yeah, enjoy your board, uh, happy flying, and I'll see you soon.